So, and you have a test with that in mind. So it's, it's like getting back to the idea of this is a, a 14 dynamic stop and um, you know 16 bit image. That's a lot of range, but there's probably not. I don't even know if there's a display right now that can show that. No. So you have to be able to test to see what that final thing is going to be. And I will even go to the process of an IN and an IP for a feature film to see what I'm going to get at the end of it. But as, as Rodney pointed out earlier, when he's doing his initial test uh, with the Edgington gray card, you're doing bracket exposure. Yeah. And then so then you know in the DI as to how that talent skin tone and everything appears with the look you want, because you may, the fact that this is 16 bit, as well as 20 megapixel sensor, tremendous amount of resolution. And with certain lens, do you want that resolution or you don't? And so on the, on the final yeah. image, so you know how much you can push in terms of your exposure. And then if you have to push it up in the, in the DI, that little bit of noise grain may just be right texture. Yeah. And, and those are the test initially you do, and that's how you find out. But it's a very different uh, image performance from now on because you have everything there, and then you have varieties of lenses with different resolution amongst the lenses itself. Uh, yeah. Among long things like that. Yeah. All the yeah. Different, all different, different. And lenses, I think, are even more important now than ever because now with a camera like this, you know, it used to be I could choose. Uh, a film stock. I could cha I could change the way I expose the film stock. I could push the film. I could do some processes in the lab. I could flash the film in the lab. I could get the negative. I could do all these this variety of things in the lab to create an image. With this camera, you have to do all that in post production. But what I'd be really interested in if I was getting this camera for the first time to shoot a feature with is. Uh, I would I would show up and try to find like I'd get my hands on as many lenses as I could get because I feel like that might help distinguish a look for a film. So I would get the Master Prime, the Cook F4, the uh, I try the Fujinon, the new Fujinon Zoom. I would even go back and get you know um, I know Paul Dufos has an old set of vintage lenses. I'd like to see what those look like. Now they probably wouldn't um, resolve a full HA but that may not be the point for that film. You, know, you're trying, you may want to break this image down for a film, and the lenses are a great way to do it. And I find the lenses are a better way to do it for me personally than using the diffusion filters in front of it. Because um, I like the way the light reacts to the lens itself and the way that you get different kinds of flares. And the flares you see on a master prime are very different than the flares you get in a quick up four. So those are the kind of things I would explore as I got ready to do a feature. And, and I'm also working very closely with the director in this, in this case, too. Like I want him to see these images on a screen, if that's where we're going. Commercials, you don't really have the opportunity to do testing like this. But on a, um, on a feature film, it's important to shoot, you know, to shoot it and go in and look at the image with the director to find out what we're going for. And also, what's really important in that test is to say, this is what my idea of dark is. And after he has a heart attack, then you figure out what his idea of dark is, so you can figure that out, right? Uh, because what you don't want to do is get... It, the, one of the issues, in a way, as a cinematographer with this camera is that it's so... It's got so much information in it that anything can happen later. And, and as a cinematographer, that's what, what I... Would, would not enjoy, it, let's say, is to, to, for someone to go in later and just decide to change the entire image. You know, now if you get the right producer and the right director, that will never happen to you. But